Trauma is said to be the response to a deeply distressing or disturbing event that overwhelms an individual's ability to cope, thereby causing feelings of helplessness. This is the reason for this gathering of scholars at the National Institute of Journalism Complex in Lagos. Speaking at the conference, one of the organizers, Kazim Akinriti, said it has become a matter of urgency for trauma literacy to be advocated. If you embedded trauma literacy and journalism, in the curriculum of uh, teaching institutions in Nigeria, I think it's much more better because UNESCO has, you know, approved it. Live show, a former dean of School of Communications, Lagos State University, enumerated the likely causes of trauma. When you look at the situation of uh, journalists and media organization, especially in terms of welfare, you know, they are not well treated. Uh, there are so many media organizations that are not paying well. Some are not paying regularly. And from even reports, some are not paying at all. And these are people that have families. They have to take care of their children, take care of themselves. So that, in a way, after some time, could become psychologically disturb disturbing, you know. So that's a form of trauma. Some of the participants who were present at the meeting called on the federal government to implement rules to guide the provision and protection of journalism in Nigeria. A curriculum can be developed in such a way that schools, journalism who can incorporate it into their study. In terms of government actions, you know, government agents, especially security agencies, the way they treat reporters, you know, is not too good. Jetrig and other participants, therefore, call on the drivers of the education sector in Nigeria and other appropriate authorities to include trauma literacy in the curriculum of all the institutions in the country. Amarachi Amushi, AIT News, Lagos.